So these are the Bose QC headphones and these are Bose's new mid-tier ANC headphones and these are great for traveling with because these block out a lot of noise, they're very comfortable to wear and they come included with a very small case, which I feel is very important for flying. But the Sennheiser Momentum 4s also block out an impressive amount of noise and they sound really good too. So today we are going to compare the Bose QCs to the Sennheiser Momentum 4s and we're going to see which ones are right for you. Regarding pricing, the Sennheiser Momentum 4s have a retail price of $380, but since these are over a year and a half old now, they can be found on sale from time to time. Sometimes they like to go on sale for around $280, and sometimes they might even go as low as $250. Whereas with the Bose QCs, these just came out and they have a retail price of $350, but they can sometimes be found on sale for $250. Nonetheless, if you want to pick either of these two headphones up, they'll be linked down below or you can always try the YouTube shopping button. And if you want to further support the channel, pick up a big head approved hat. Link down below. We've got trucker hats and snapbacks. By buying a hat, you help the unbiased and unsponsored videos coming and it also helps us cover more products and produce more versus videos. Thank you to everyone who's already bought a hat and look out for more designs coming soon. And also, please remember to hit that like button and let's get subscribed. Now first, let's talk about these included carrying cases. Now both of these headphones come included with hard shell cases, which is great because they're going to remain safe even if you stuff them into a cramped backpack. My main critique here is the case that comes with the Momentum 4s has a large footprint because these headphones have a lay flat design to them, and this case is also pretty thick. So I feel that traveling with the Momentum 4s isn't as convenient as with the Bose QC's case because this case is just smaller and slimmer. But something about this case is that when you take these headphones out, they will automatically power on and connect to your phone, which is really cool. The only problem is, at least for me, is that I found that when this case is vertical, like let's say they're in your backpack, your headphones can power on and they can get connected to your phone, which can be very annoying. And even after a year, it doesn't look like any of these recent firmware updates has fixed this issue. Now, I got these headphones when they first came out, so maybe this isn't a problem with a newer models of this headphones, but uh, just be warned that this could be something that might happen. But with the cases out of the way, let's talk about the headphones themselves. Regarding fit, this right here is very different between these two headphones and this can actually be a deciding factor for some people. Now both of these headphones are big head approved, but the Momentum 4s have a firmer fit to them, whereas the Bose QCs have less clamping force to them. So if you like a looser fit, or if you have a really big head, and or if if you like to wear hats, then you're definitely going to want to go with the Bose QCs. But then there are the earpads on these headphones. Now both of these headphones have very spacious earpads and they're both going to have no problem accommodating most ear types. And even if you have very large ears or ears that stick out a lot, both of these earpads will have you covered. However, the earpads on the Bose QCs are just more spacious. And also, these earpads have less surface area coming in contact with your skin. So Bose's earpads are just able to stay cooler for longer. And then there's their weight. The Momentum 4s weigh in at 295 grams, which isn't awful, but it is a little heavier than your Bose QC Ultra and Sony 1000XM4s, which weigh in at 255 grams. And the Sony 1000XM5s weigh in at 250 grams. And then there are the Bose QC 45s, which weigh in at 237 grams, and the Bose QCs weigh in at 235 grams. So with the Bose QCs, these are just a lot easier to forget that you're wearing when you're sitting still, and you notice these shifting around a lot less when you're walking around with them on. So overall, both of these headphones fit well, but the Bose QCs are considerably more comfortable than the Sennheiser Momentum 4s because they have a lot less clamping force their ear pads are a lot more spacious, their ear pads also stay cooler for longer, and they're a lot lighter as well. But when it comes to tech specs, the Momentum 4s dominate the Bose QCs when it comes to battery life and connectivity. The Momentum 4s have an advertised battery life of 60 hours with their active noise cancellation turned on, which is both very impressive and it's very above average. Whereas with the Bose, this is one of their biggest weak points. The Bose QCs have an advertised battery life of 24 hours with their active noise cancellation turned on, which is a little low, especially if you do plan 
turn on flying with these headphones. And since you can't use these headphones with the active noise cancellation turned off, you can't extend their battery life. Now, you also can't use the Momentum 4s with their active noise cancellation turned off, but since they already have a battery life of 60 hours, that's okay. And in order to charge these headphones, both of these headphones charge via a USB-C port as they should. But the really cool thing about the Momentum 4s is that you can also use their USB-C ports as a wired connection. Whereas with the Bose QCs, their USB-C port is strictly used for charging. However, if you want to, you can still use either of these two headphones with a wired connection because they both still have an audio jack. And with both of these headphones, they can be used passively unlike with the Bose QC Ultras, which can't be used passively. But when it comes to wireless connectivity, both of these headphones can be connected to any two Bluetooth devices at the same time, which is good if you're a power user because you can easily hot swap from one device to another regardless of ecosystem. So if you have an iPhone, you can switch over to your PC with either of these two headphones. And when it comes to overall performance, both of these headphones have zero latency across the board when watching movies or videos on your phone, whether you're using an iPhone or an Android device. And when it comes to audio codecs, the Bose QC have support for SPC and AAC, whereas the Momentum 4s have support for SPC, AAC, and Aptex Adaptive. However, just keep in mind that if you do want to take advantage of Aptex, you do have to be an Android user because iPhones top out at AAC. But with all of that out of the way, let's talk about sound. Now first, the Bose QCs are a pair of neutral sounding headphones, as in these are going to be better suited for someone that likes a more neutral or vocals focused EQ. Now these headphones have bass, but the bass is mostly on the audible side, as in you can hear their bass, but you can't feel their bass. Now you can always go in and adjust the EQ on these headphones to your liking, but even if you were to crank the bass all the way up on these headphones, they aren't going to physically rattle your head. So so for this reason, some people will say that these headphones sound flat, but they don't sound flat, they're just different. But then there's the Sennheiser Momentum 4s. Now I still feel that the Momentum 3s sound better than the Momentum 4s, but the Momentum 4s still sound great. And more importantly, the Momentum 4s have a very impressive instrument separation and detail, all on their own. They don't require any software trickery to sound as good as they do, like the Bose QC Ultra and their immersive audio and the AirPod Max and their spatial audio. But another thing about the Sennheiser is that they also have a decent amount of physicality in their bass. So if you want to feel your bass, the Momentum 4s can do that and their bass also has a decent amount of resonance as well. So overall, the Sennheiser Momentum 4s easily sound better than the Bose QC because these are able to always sound great and they also have some kick in their bass. Whereas with the Bose QCs, these also sound good but these are going to be better suited for someone that likes a more neutral or vocals focused EQ. Plus, the Momentum 4s do sound noticeably more more open than the Bose QCs. But then there are the media controls on these headphones. Now the Momentum 4s are using a touchpad. Now this touchpad is decent but it can be a little overly sensitive which can be a little annoying at times especially if you plan on traveling with these headphones. Whereas the Bose QCs are using physical buttons and these physical buttons are just a lot easier to find and they're a lot easier to use. However, something that the Momentum 4s do have over the Bose QCs is that they have wear sensors. So they'll automatically pause your music when you take them off. And then when you put them back on, they'll start playing your music again. Now, personally, I don't really care for wear sensors on my headphones, so I usually just turn them off, but they're there if you want them. And most importantly, the wear sensors on the Momentum 4s are a lot better now than when they first came out. But now, let's talk about the active noise cancellation on these headphones. Now, just as you'd expect, both of these premium ANC headphones block out an impressive amount of noise. But so that you can see for yourself, we're going to jump into an ANC test. So 
So, like you may have just seen, both the Sennheiser Momentum 4s and the Bose QCs block out an impressive amount of noise. However, the Bose QCs just block out overall more noise than the Momentum 4s. So, either of these two headphones are going to be good options to fly with because they both block out a lot of noise. However, the Bose QCs are able to block out more lower frequency sounds like jet engine noise and they also block out more chatter. And most importantly, they don't have all that much more cabin pressure than the Momentum momentum fours. But also, both of these headphones have an ambient mode and you can adjust how much noise these headphones let in. However, these ambient modes are a little different. Now the ambient mode on the Bose sounds more natural than the ambient mode on the Momentum 4s because I feel the Momentum 4s prioritize noise pollution, so it can be a little harder to understand people. But the microphone array on the Momentum 4s does a much better job of rejecting wind noise when walking outdoors, whereas the Bose QCs are much faster to pick up wind noise which which can be very annoying, especially if you plan on commuting with these headphones. But something that I do like about the Momentum 4s is that if you have them set to pause your music when you turn on their ambient mode, then you'll have a conversation mode where your headphones will lower the volume of your music and pump in all of the ambient sound around you so that you can quickly talk to someone without having to remove your headphones. And when you double tap on the touchpad, they'll go back to normal again. And with the Momentum 4s, you kind of have access to both features. If you double tap on the touchpad, they'll go to your conversation mode. And if you want to have your ambient mode turned on and you want your music to play at the same time, then you can just pinch to zoom on the touchpad. So you technically have access to both features, but with Sony's headphones, their setup is a lot more seamless. And this is definitely something Thing that both Sennheiser and Bose should try to improve on their headphones. But more importantly, Bose's headphones don't have a conversation mode and this is a very big shame because the Bose NC700s do have a conversation mode but for some reason Bose just didn't include a conversation mode on their newer headphones. So I really do hope that Bose adds a conversation mode to their newer headphones through a firmware update because they can easily do so because like I mentioned in the past having a conversation mode on your headphones is extremely useful especially if you plan on flying with your headphones but finally here's the microphone test and I feel that both of these headphones have decent sounding microphones on them to take phone calls with while in a quiet room but I do feel that the microphone on the Bose QC's does sound a little more natural than the microphone found on the Sennheiser Momentum 4s but when it comes to blocking out noise pollution both of these headphones do struggle a little bit. Now when it comes to blocking out road noise, the those QCs are able to block out some of this road noise. But again, for comparison's sake, if we were to switch over to a mother power microphone, you're going to clearly hear all of this road noise. But if we were to switch back over to the Bose QCs, it is slightly reduced. And it's the same thing with the Sennheiser Momentum 4s. These are managing to slightly block out some of this road noise. And it's the same thing when it comes to blocking out chatter. The Sennheiser Momentum 4s are only managing to slightly block out some of this noise pollution. And the Bose QCs are also only blocking out some of this chatter. But again, if we were to switch over to the Pearl microphone, you're going to clearly hear all of this chatter. But if we were to switch back over to the Bose QCs, it is slightly reduced. So overall, both of these headphones have easy sounding microphones on them to take phone calls with while in a quiet room. And personally, I do feel that the microphone on the Bose QCs sounds more natural than the microphone found on the Sennheiser Momentum 4s. However, when it comes to blocking out noise pollution, both of these headphones do struggle a little bit. So with all that being said, if you're trying to choose between the Bose QCs and the Sennheiser Momentum 4s, the Bose QCs are the better option here if you're looking for a pair of headphones to constantly travel with because they block out more noise than the Momentum 4s, they're a lot more comfortable to wear, and they have a much smaller case for traveling. But their biggest issue is their battery life. 24 hours is a little low, especially for flying, whereas the Momentum 4s are good for up to 60 hours. 
Now, don't get me wrong, the Momentum 4s are also good for traveling because they also block out a lot of noise, but they aren't as convenient as the Bose because they have a much larger case and they just aren't as comfortable and those ear cups can heat up after a while. But where the Momentum 4s really shine is their sound quality. These truly sound really good. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.